Hi Travelers, Tara here, Hidden Lotus Tarot, and I'm coming to you today with a general reading for the sign of Aquarius, July 2016. Before I get started, I'd like to make a few announcements. First, I want to say thank you guys very, very much for being so patient with me. I know the videos are late. Um, I had some other things happen for me right around the beginning of the month. So I really want to appreciate, I really appreciate, say thank you for um, you guys hanging in there with me. Um, that means a lot to me. Um, I also want to thank those people who did um, Akashic Records readings with me. Um, I really want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, do those readings for you. Um, I get a lot more out of them probably than you do. The work is so interesting. Um, and the payoff for me is always when I get to hear you guys who've gotten the readings, the clients say, oh my God, you know, and that I can actually hear the puzzle piece click in your head. And so for me, that's what I like. Um, I love that. I like reading tarot cards. But I absolutely love doing Akashic Records readings. So I want to thank you so much for trusting me uh, and allowing me to do that work for you. Um, the next thing, my friend Sally Kirkman, I was telling you guys, I think a couple of weeks ago, that she was uh, had a pay what you want, one question astrological reading. That's now closed. Um, anybody who went to there and saw it, I, I apologize for that. You'll have to wait till next year to get in on it. But I suggest that you... you Keep an eye peeled out next year because it's really something great. Um, let's see. I have specials going on this month. It was supposed to start on the 6th and run through the 13th of this month. Since I'm late getting the videos up, I'm going to extend that out to July 20th. Uh, that is $20 off the regular phone readings. Um, for those of you who email and say, you don't know how to get in touch with me, my website address is in the description box below each video. It's in the About box section of the channel. It is in the channel art. You look up in the right-hand corner where the picture is, and you should see uh, the link for my uh, website. And also, right up in the right-hand corner of the, each video are what are known as cards. It will be like a little eye, and you click on that. For more information, it will take you directly over to the website. Okay? Um, I will say... Um, for those of you who would like to purchase a reading with me, I do like to work from a blank slate, so only give me the information that I ask for, and please don't tell me what another reader said to you. That's not to say that what the other reader's not telling you is true. It's just that my intuition works a little bit differently, and I don't want to have any interference coming in doing a reading for you. Um, it's best that way. Um, let's see. <clears throat> what, what else? Well, this is a general reading. We're going to go ahead and get started for Aquarius for July 2016. I've already done some pre-shuffling of the cards. Um, <clears throat> please do not come underneath the video and ask me, does this situation apply to you? Um, or how is it going to end for you if this is your situation? That's what personal readings are for. I get your information and I tune into your personal energies surrounding your situation and I can get more information that way. Granted, um, for some people, some Aquarians, there are millions of them in the world, um, This, whatever this spread is may speak directly to them. For others, it will not. In which case, please go back and check your moon and rising sign as it becomes available. I'm trying to finish up all of the readings today. Um, so if you can get something, even if the situation doesn't resonate with you, if you get something out of the reading, then please try to get what you can and apply it, and what you can't, disregard it, okay? So, we're going to do a nine-card spread. I've been working harder than a one-tooth beaver in a wood eating contest. Been busy, busy. All right. Gonna put a quick uh, cut on these. Again, general Aquarius, July 2016. Nine cards. Man, that's a lot of swords. Knight 
of Wands. Alrighty then. Now, in the spread itself, I have one major arcana. It is the strength card. I have one ace. I have four swords and two coins. The two wands, that's the one ace. The center, what our focus is, is this three of wands. And the three of wands is the card of making plans, planning on something long term, or embarking on a long term project, whatever manner this means for you. Um, this could be typically it's a wands, we associate that with work. But it can also speak to, the wands speak to as well, embarking perhaps upon a new spiritual journey. Um, past, present, future, past, present, future. Now, for some of you, I'm recording. For some of you, um, I have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is... First of all, we know it's a card of, you know, thievery, sneakery, deception, lies, spying. Um, but I also like to give you the, and this represents uh, the moon in Aquarius, okay? Um, but there's a 13th century um, interpretation of a home move here. And I cannot rule that out because I do have this Six of Swords along with this Knight of Pentacles, so to speak. So um, I do like to give that interpretation. It, um, I have had people tell me that it does talk about a situation that they're dealing with. Um, so I'm going to throw that out there. But to me, what this looks like is that there is... This King of Pentacles is throwing me off here. So some of you Aquarians may be dealing with um, either a fire sign or an earth sign. Um, there is no water in this spread, so to speak. No uh, water cards. And I have the seven and the eight. I have the six, seven, eight, and the four. So four, six, seven, eight. So the two's missing, the three's missing. The five is missing and the eight, nine, and ten. So it's what's not there. And in some regards, I'm going to have to just flat out say that for some of you, there has been a deception that's been discovered. That's a yes card. And even though you may not see it as something positive, because the ace is simply the opportunity to grab a hold of this new opportunity that has come for uh, that is coming around for you it's like a yes card okay and this says that it's something positive but you can't see it that way right now and this is the card of either this is called a hoodwinked card so we have we have this thing of, of some type of deception or lie and also being hoodwinked. And the hoodwinked, this Eight of Swords represents either you not seeing clearly the situation for what it is, or um, you're not wanting to see the situation clearly for what it is. And I say that because if you look at the imagery of the card, that woman is loosely bound and she really isn't surrounded by all of those swords, okay? And the water that she's, that little puddle of water that she's standing in is someone who is just kind of standing in their emotions. In other words, they're standing in their fear. But if this woman would break free from that, she will break the bindings. She can pull off the blindfold and she can see that she's not trapped. 
and that she's not surrounded and she's stuck in that situation of her own accord. Okay. The strength card comes. And the strength card uh, comes to tell you to um, indeed to be strong. Um, but it also speaks of taking a risk. Because as you can see, that woman's prying the jaws of that lion. She's prying its, its jaws open. And, you know, she don't know if it's going to try to bite the crap out of her or what. But the thing is, is that this woman is not using her strength in the manner where she's prying it open with force. She's actually using a gentle, gentle kind of a, an energy or strength. Okay. So it's kind of like to, you can exert your will, but you don't have to be aggressive about it. And also this card is about taking a risk. I just said that. Now this represents Leo, so we know that next month we're going to be we're going to be coming up on on the Leo time of Leo, and this is the present. So you're going to have to be putting some plans in place. And I didn't tell you at the beginning. I knew it was something before I laid the spread. We are still under the Pluto retrograde, the Neptune retrograde, and um, on the 30th, Uranus is going to go retrograde. And Uranus is known as the great liberator or the rebellion, the, the, uh, the rebel. And he doesn't like to be hemmed in or fenced in, okay? He likes to break free. He likes to be unconventional. He wants to do whatever it is he has to do. He's all about um, doing whatever the hell he wants, okay? And... Right on the 17th of July, we're going to go into the shadow phase of the Mercury retrograde. So that's going to be four planets in retrograde here in the next few weeks. Uh, there's two weeks that the planet kind of slows up before it goes into retrograde phase. It will Mercury will be going retrograde August 9th or 10th. I forget how long it's going to be retrograde. And then there's two weeks after that where it starts to pick up speed. So that's another shadow phase. So right now, if you have any plans, uh, as always with any retrogrades, the re, revise, rework, redo, review, reassess, make plans. Okay. And this is going to be something long-term that you're looking at. And this guy is, is either in two situations. He is either watching his ships go out, in which case he's going to have to wait a while to see not only if those ships arrive to their destination, but also if they're going to come back safely and what gains are there, okay? Or if he's simply just waiting for them to come in, all right? So make your plans. And then I have this Four of Swords, and this is the card of taking some time out. Sometimes you have to withdraw from a situation. And if you found that someone's been deceiving you, you found out somebody's you know been stabbing you in the back or what have you, um, then perhaps instead of fighting with them and using your brute force, retreat. And there's nothing wrong with retreating. You retreat because you can um, come back and you can gain a new strategy. You can review what has gone before and think about where you want to go next. Um, and there's no shame in retreating and saying, hey, wait a minute, I got to take a break. Okay, there's no shame um, in that. And what the cards are saying is that, in, in a sense, that would kind of be like the best thing for you to do if you find yourself in this certain situation. Um, I would indeed say that this King of Pentacles is key. I have these two court cards here in the actual spread itself. And... I don't know if this is speaking to this earth sign male kind of getting away or has forced the issue in terms of a deception here, but there's definitely someone who's moving away either physically or psychologically and also spiritually because it's attached to this ace of wands. Now this could literally be someone has moved away around water, by water, near water, or it could be that someone is planning a trip to come 
by water, around water, near water. Because here's this Knight of Pentacles here. And this is the slowest Knight of the deck in, in the whole right. And as you can see, maybe somebody's doing something and it looks sneaky, but it's, it's really not in the long run. Or maybe you don't see something happening, so you assume that there's something sneaky and underhanded going on when maybe there's not. Okay? But to me, this says that whatever this is talking about, the Six of Swords, that it's been a long time in coming. It's going to be arriving. It's just going to get there kind of slow, like a slow boat from China, so to speak. And there is definitely a gift here from this. And this knight comes in to back up this king. But now what's on the horizon, the energy around it, is something arriving quite swiftly. And again, this represents Leo. Okay, it's a fire sign, but this represents Leo. And the time is, um, I don't think there's a timing for the knights. Uh, it just represents, yeah, Leo. Okay, the first and second decan of Leo. And um, that could be, you know, the end of this month into like the middle of August when the time of Leo begins and ends, you know, starting at the end of this month to next month. Um, and so this could, in a sense, be some kind of timing. But also, um, we know that nights bring news and messages. And I have two eights here. Okay. And two eights in a spread speak to receiving some kind of news that is going to affect the relationship. This could be a business relationship, a family relationship. I do have those that woman and child there in, in the, in the uh, boat. Um, I say business because I have the coins here. I have the wands for work. But this could also be in a regular romantic relationship. I mean, I've been in places where jobs where I felt like this too, okay? So we don't necessarily always want to say that this is surrounding something romantic. I want to take a look at what, there's another interpretation of two eights in a spread. And um, I gave you the first one, which is um, receiving news that it's going to affect the relationship. And let me give you the other one. One second, I don't have my my uh, tablet on. Okay. Eventually, I'm going to remember this at some point. Now, two eights appearing in a reading. I want you to listen to this now. Two eights appearing in a reading together. implies that there may be a slight concern in regards to a new romance, relationship, or partnership. All those swords, and those are thoughts. But something's going to come in. Some kind of news is going to alert you. I don't know to what, but you're going to get some news quite suddenly. And I'm going to take a risk and say near the end of this month into the middle of next month. So if you've been waiting on some news to come in, as if the cards are saying you've been waiting for a long time, the news has taken a long time to get there, it's going to suddenly arrive. Now, I'm kind of um, confused as to what this King of Pentacles is telling me because it does on the diagonal look like there's some something that you're not seeing or or you're feeling stuck in a situation or feeling like you can't separate yourself from whatever this king of pentacles is all about so i'm going to look at that king of pentacles i don't know why my neighbor always knock on my door when she texts me for everything else um <laughs> even this you know it looks like a deception and so you make some plans and then whatever the plans are they've been a long time in coming i want to look at that seven of swords as well you know that's an ugly card and i try not to always give the negative connotation of it because it's not always negative um yeah it sucks to have somebody pull the wool over your eyes and lie to you and deceive you 
but hopefully if you're paying attention you end up learning something from that so you can always use situations uh, take advantage of the opportunity to try to grow a little bit more let's first look at what the king is telling us now this is quite beautiful so perhaps some of you have been waiting to hear from this earth sign male or someone who represents the king of coins, somebody who's going to be somewhat wealthy, uh, got their crap together financially, because I have the Lamonte female lover, Fortuna, a fortunate event, or riches, and then I have Denari. So these are three positive cards coming out on this person. And this is kind of giving an idea of the character of this person and if you've met someone like this then you, this is how you're looking at it like there is there is something very positive very fortunate about this person this meeting the circumstances surrounding them or their energy and not only do they have money but it's also represents another form of security for you but now I don't understand what this um, Okay, look, I have the Belvedere, I have the Desperate Jealousy, and I have the Vecchia Signora. Now, the Belvedere is uh, having great foresight, which is in complete opposite of this, so to speak. This is you either not want to see the situation or you can't see the situation. But then I have the desperate jealousy, and the desperate jealousy could be about someone who's being extremely jealous, but it can also speak to fears, okay? Remember I said it may look deceptive, but maybe it's really not? Vecchia Signora, a change coming about. Now, I don't know if this is, is in, in terms of a change because you find out that there is a deception, news long time in coming, some kind of news that affects the relationship, or um, <clears throat> a slight concern. It does read like both. Okay. Um, well, let's just take a look and see what this is. Now I'm curious. What's the Knight of Pentacles? The Gran Consolazione, this speaks to gratification after a long time, okay, satisfaction after a long time. The guy has been dreaming of all of those things that he's wanted, and he's been working very, very hard on them, and he finally has them now, so he gets a chance to sit down and think about what he had to go through to get those things. Dilaranti, now... I'm going to give you the positive and negative connotation on that. The negative, what this card actually means, is stupid actions and stupid behavior. You can see the guy's drunk, his friends are supporting him, they're trying to get him wherever they're trying to go, they're singing, they're not cognizant of what the hell's going on around them. But could also be perhaps becoming deliriously in your emotions, maybe being very, very happy. I have superbia. So it could be that finally, after a long time, a long time in coming, you know, you're going to get something successful. <clears throat> but yet and still, I cannot ignore these swords cards. So this could also be that you find out that what you've been working for all along, it's going to you're going to find out in such a manner where it's like you're going to see the true colors of, of what the situation is all about. And if it doesn't come out in the extreme positive for some of you, do know that that is still a, a gift um, in one sense. Okay? This could be literally someone else returning from the past. And if that's the case, this night, both of these are going in from west to east 
this is coming from east to west now i don't know what that means for you i do hope the messages helped and until next time namaste